continuing our Marvel Cinematic Universe coverage on this channel today. We're going to be talking about Doctor Strange 2, aka In the Multiverse of Madness, and also Thor Love and Thunder, which does sound like porno, aka Thor 4. So if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC pop culture based content on the channel. Subscribe, it really helps the channel grow. Like the video, share it around, comment 500 times to help the video get pushed out. Also check us out on Instagram at Stew if you want to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. Also check us out on Twitter, WarstuG, because I've got like 12 followers over there and it'd be much appreciated. Right, let's get into this video. So, Doctor Strange 2 comes out May the 6th, 2022. Currently, it has been delayed. And then we have the next Marvel movie after that will be Thor Love and Thunder in July. Now, what I find quite interesting is we've not had any teaser trailers, trailers for this movie, because yes, there is another movie coming before it, but we got the first trailer, I guess you could say, in the post credits scene for Spider-Man No Way Home. So when Marvel did officially come out and drop the trailer on YouTube, I think three weeks-ish after the No Way Home came out in December, it wasn't like they were actually releasing anything new. So, as you know, the Super Bowl is coming up. So, it's not hard to figure out when the trailer for Doctor Strange two will be coming out so we mentioned it briefly in a video the other day so any person who wants to come out on twitter and take creditation for it realistically guys you're just guessing there was a twitter handler called moth culture who posted a story a few days back we did it on the channel where he said we're going to see careful for spoilers i don't want to ruin your life he said we're going to see john k from the quiet place quite a famous actor well, apparently we're going to see him pick up Captain Carter's shield. That's going to be interesting. So then the world famous Daniel Rickman or Richman, however you want to say it, came out on his Patreon, which I think it is quite bad to have to put something behind a paywall, realistically, unless the information is 100% true. So he initially came out, apparently, this is allegedly because I won't pay for anyone's Patreon because I don't believe in paying for information when it's widely available on the internet. Apparently, according to Daniel Rickman, there will be a trailer shown during in the Super Bowl, but I actually know this is a lie and it's untrue because do you do you realize how expensive it is to drop a trailer at the Super Bowl per second? These trailers are sh very, very expensive. Why do you think all the trailers at the Super Bowl are generally short? So this broke on his Patreon and then a little while later, it actually was redacted and it come out and says Daniel RPK has since clarified on his Patreon that a spot will be released for Doctor Strange Into the Multiverse of Madness. Not a trailer. The length and scope of the spot has not been revealed. Edit means spot not trailer my bad so what this generally means is the information i said about a month ago when i said we're most likely going to get a tv spot or something during the super bowl for this movie but now this is me just speculating accumulating and talking about things i've heard from behind the scenes is apparently there could be something for thor love and thunder it would make sense now the general speculation between the twitter scoopers i guess you could say because it's not going to be confirmed is there could be something for thor love and thunder also at the super bowl it would make sense but a lot of people saying but look how long it took spider-man no way home they didn't drop the first trailer to three months out cool i mean in theory they don't actually have to drop a trailer for thor love and thunder to after or actually in the cinema at the same time with doctor strange 2 like the standard marketing material for movies is generally six months out so we're actually already overdue a trailer for the movie do we need a tv spot for doctor strange 2 at the super bowl not really everyone generally knows what the movie's about i mean with all the leaks and stuff out there we already know what the movie's about but of course there will be multiple trailers and multiple tv spots for that i'd be more interested in getting a tv spot for thor love and thunder because we know absolutely freaking nothing about that movie but realistically we don't know nothing about into the multiverse of madness outside of the first trailer and outside the ending of no way home when they were all coming through and he was trying to stop them and then the multiverse ripped open massively in a crazy way but also there is another report from deadline that says we will be getting in a Moon Knight trailer at the Super Bowl as well. As we know, Disney is one of the biggest Hollywood studios and it does line
like to put a lot of traders out during the Super Bowl. So I don't know the time scale of who woulda, coulda, shoulda said it first, but there is an article out there that says Disney possibly spots include Marvel's Doctor Strange into the Multiverse of Madness, May the 6th, Pixar, Lightyear, June the 17th, and another Disney Plus spot for Oscar Isaac Cirrus Moon Knight, which debuts and premieres on Disney Plus on the 30th of March. But like I said, guys, we've already had ample trailers for Moon Knight. We've had the first official trailer. Seeing as Moon Knight is a series, I'm really looking forward to it. Could lead to the Midnight Suns potentially with Ghost Runner, with Blade, with Punisher in the future. But I personally feel for TV series, you don't really need many trailers, do you? Not really. But Disney did have a TV spot for the series Falcon and Winter Soldier, which drew an additional 30 million views on social media a day after the Super Bowl. So for the price of getting your trailer at the Super Bowl, it would be worth it. So in theory, we could be getting a TV spot for Doctor Strange into the Multiverse of Madness, but it's not really needed unless it's going to add anything to the narrative going forward because at the moment, they're misleading you, making out Gigantus is actually the villain when we all know it's Wanda Maximoff, aka Scarlet which Moon Knight, we don't really need a trailer for it. Again, Pixar, Lightyear, we've already had we've already had trailers for all these. So realistically, from Marvel's point of view, they don't need any trailers. They're just putting the trailers or TV spots out for the sake of it. And in today's world, it's actually hard to figure out what a trailer is because the first trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home was two minutes long and that was called a teaser trailer. For me, a trailer is anything over 30 seconds, but according to the internet, it's not actually an, a trailer, a trailer, unless it's officially dubbed as a trailer so also in the news so a movie i feel that would need promoting during the super bowl is jared leto's morbius because no one really knows that it's coming out because it's been delayed like 25 times in the last two years so according to the internet at the moment and the information we can find on this it's essentially a spider-man spin-off franchise which could be huge jared leto could be really good i think he's pretty much hard done by when it comes to his movies because i think and feel like he did a really good job playing the joker in a dcu but april the first is apparently the current release date now that could change and that would make it the next superhero movie after the batman in theory in the marvel universe okay yes it's not mcu canon but let's be honest guys jjj is in the trailer so it is kind of mcu canon it strongly needs promoting i know they've already put so much money into marketing morbius it was supposed to come out in january pushed to april the first and the end of march in some countries but it really does need promoting because a lot of people don't even know outside of the Marvel community and like the MCU YouTube community and stuff like that and comic book readers not that many people know about Morbius and it's not like Sony hasn't tried to market it it's just they've delayed it multiple 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 freaking times to the point where is it actually ever going to come out we we don't know so I'm actually looking forward to Morbius because you know it's got a connection it's got a living vampire and it, it could tie into everything I mean realistically we could get Craven Venom apparently is confirmed to be in it. War Stu and Andrew Garfield apparently going to be in it. So it could be freaking huge. And if, if Andrew Garfield is actually going to be in Morbius, they might as well just throw throw it in there in a trailer to build the hype because that would make a lot of sense. So the other day, they also confirmed season two of Loki starring Tom Hiddleston. We'll start shooting in UK in the summer, which is freaking fantastic. Absolutely love it when they film anything in the UK. So like always, guys, let me know what you think of this kind of video. I wouldn't normally go over trailer news, but the Super Super Bowl is a Super Bowl. It is huge, so we could be getting a Thor Love and Thunder, which does sound like freaking porno. Sorry, but it does. Also, we could be getting a trailer with Doctor Strange 2 in the Multiverse of Madness, which according to Moth Culture, which I don't know, I don't really think any of these Twitter scoopers have any more validity over the other one. According to him, we're getting John K, Captain America, holding the shield, allegedly. And also, we could be getting a Moon Knight, but these will all be TV spots, I believe. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at WallStu if you want to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice also check us out on twitter watch you g comment down below 100 times also share the video out it really does help and also tell everyone you meet on the plane on the train on the bus about the watch you channel and i will catch you in another video very soon guys catch you later